In this video, we'll look at the tetrahedral molecular geometry using Vesper theory. So tetrahedral is when we have four things attached to a central atom. When we think about Vespera, we're thinking about these valence shell electrons. These are the ones on the outside, and they are going to actually push away from each other and repel. And that looks something like this. When you have two atoms come together, they have that electric charge on the outside. It pushes away, and that's what gives the molecules the shape when they are bonded. So for tetrahedral, let's take a look at CH4. That's sort of probably one of the more common uh, examples given in textbooks and in classrooms. So we have our central carbon there, and then we'll add hydrogens to that central carbon. We add one, then we add the second, they push away and spread out. Same for the third. And finally, that fourth pushes them away from each other, giving us that 109.5 degree bond angle. So that's CH4. You can see the Lewis structure doesn't really tell us about what shape it would be. We need to think about the valence shell electron repulsion in order to find the shape. There are a number of other molecular geometries, and that depends on how many atoms are attached, and also depends on how many lone pair electrons are attached. They influence the molecular geometry as well. But you can use Vesper theory to predict what those geometries are based on a correct Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for tetrahedral structures, and thanks for watching.